We are starting with the experiments now, which were performed to prove or to check whether DNA is the genetic material or not. So we are talking of those experiments which were performed to prove that DNA is the genetic material. The first experiment, which is considered as the first step, is known as Griffith's experiment of transformation. Griffith's experiment of transformation. Before we talk about the experiment conclusions and everything, let us uh, see what exactly he used for this experiment. As the name tells us, Griffith, it was Frederick Griffith who performed this experiment. He performed this experiment in the year 1928. He used Streptococcus pneumoniae. causes a particular type of pneumonia in mice. So one organism which was used was streptococcus pneumonia and mice were used. This streptococcus pneumonia, it comes or it is present or it occurs in two different types of forms. One is known as smooth variety and other is called rough variety or string. As the name tells us, smooth has a smooth uh, outer surface. This is because of a capsule which is present around their uh, cell or body. Rough is without the capsule. These smooth varieties and rough varieties, they also occur in various types of strings. That means it can be S1, S2, S3 and so on. Same is the situation with the rough variety. R1, R2, R3 and so on. So there are various strains also of these two. Another important thing about these is that the smooth variety is virulent or pathogenic. And the rough variety is non-virulent or non-pathogenic. That means the smooth variety causes disease and the rough variety does not cause the disease. Now the experiment which was conducted was Griffith injected or rather before that let us talk about one more thing. Griffith chose S3 and R2. He performed the experiments with many varieties or many strains but the final thing which was given by this one. So R2 was injected into mice. This was experiment number one. We know R that is rough strain is non-virulent, non-pathogenic. So the result which was expected was that this streptococcus pneumoniae of this strain that is R2 which is non-pathogenic would not cause any disease into these mice and the mice should survive. So here the result was expected as per expectation the mice survived. Nothing happened. They just simply lived normally. Situation 2 or experiment 2 which was performed. S3 strain was injected into the mice. What result can we think of? This is a virulent strain, pathogenic. So after injecting this, the mice must have gotten the disease pneumonia they must have died again here 
As per expectation, my is died. Third, Griffith injected heat killed S three time into the mice. That means these streptococcus pneumoniae were heated, they were killed by heating and that extract of heat killed S3 type was injected into the mice. We can also uh, think of what exactly must have happened because we have destroyed or Griffith destroyed these, nothing should happen to mice. And here also the mice survived. Fourth experiment. Now this is the interesting one. Griffith combined two things in which the same result was obtained. In this case, the mice survived. That means when live R2 were injected, mice survived. And when heat killed S3 were injected, then also the mice survived. So Griffith combined these two. That means R2, this one, plus Heat killed S3 were injected into the mice. Now what do we expect must have happened? In case of R2, when R2 was injected, mice survived. When heat killed S3 was injected, mice survived. So when we are combining two things and injecting it into the mice, what we think would happen is the mice would survive. The same thing was thought by Griffith also. But in this case, mice died. And what Griffith concluded was that the mice died because the live R2, live R2 must have transformed the heat killed S3 into live S3 or they must have transformed something in S3 which resulted into formation of the smooth variety of the bacteria and that's why the mice died. Because this is the first experiment and it gave us, or scientists, a little clue. This experiment is of high importance. But by this simple explanation which Griffith gave, we are not able to reach to any conclusion or scientists were not able to reach to any conclusion that DNA can be considered as the genetic material. This was the initial work and uh, because Griffith was the first one to start this, this experiment has high importance. Many years later, three scientists, they tried the same experiment with certain additional things. And, but actually what we can say is they continued Griffith's experiment with certain additional things and their experiments with the base of Griffith's experiment actually gave us the conclusion. So let us talk about those three scientists and what exactly they did. So as we said that three scientists many years later, Griffith did his experiment in 1928, 16 years later. In 1944, three scientists, <coughs> Avery, MacLeod and McCarty. They performed the similar or pretty much same experiments with few additional things. What was done by uh, Griffith was streptococcus pneumonia of S3 which was heat killed and R2 which was live. When these were injected into the mice, 
the result was that mice died. These three scientists analyzed the tissue of the mice who had died and they found the most surprising part which they found was in the tissue they found live S3 type. What does this mean here? What was injected was heat killed S3 and R2 live. Then how come in the tissue S3 became live? Actually these killed S3s cannot become live but there is something in this S3 which was capable of converting this R2 which was live into S3. Now this is what is meant by transformation. Transformation is to change the form. That means something in this heat kill S3 must have done in R2. R2 had rough strain or these are the rough ones. Why rough ones? Because they don't have the capsule. This must have stimulated these R2s to synthesize a capsule around them. And as soon as this capsule was synthesized, they turned into the smooth strain. So this is one observation which was uh, a very surprising one. And then these three scientists, that is Avery, MacLeod and McCarty, they used certain enzymes while doing these experiment. Enzymes which were used were three candidates. Proteases. Proteases are the enzymes which would destroy the protein. So when in the experiment this enzyme was used, it must have destroyed the protein. But the results were same. Same results. That means nothing changed. And if nothing changed, that means protein is not responsible for all these changes which we are calling the transformation. The next enzyme which was used was RNAs. Again, they got the same result. If result is same, that means after destroying RNA, if we are getting the same result, then RNA is not responsible for this thing. Third enzyme which was used was DNAs. And here, they did not find the same result. That means the molecule, not the same result. That means the molecule which is or which was responsible for this change or this result is actually DNA. Because if DNA was used, enzyme, it must have destroyed the DNA. And that is why after their contribution, it was proved that DNA is the molecule which is responsible for bringing about this transformation. And this is the genetic material. So Griffith's experiment actually laid the basis for this uh, approach. He did reach to some conclusion but it was not very very clear and you know convincing. After many years when these three scientists Avery, MacLeod and McCarty when they did the same experiments only additional thing was this that they also introduced enzymes and every time using different enzymes. When proteins were destroyed and RNAs were destroyed, they did not find any change but when DNAs were destroyed, they did not get the same result. That means the molecule responsible for bringing about transformation was DNA and then it was concluded that DNA is the genetic material. So this is the first experiment. Griffith's experiment and it is known as the experiment of transformation because one type of bacterial strain got transformed into another type that is or rather that has proved that DNA is